Hello everyone, my name is Michelangelo and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about an update to the Vetter holster. So I was watching some other Vetter holster videos to kind of premise why I'm making this video. And I noticed that the claw appeared to be longer on their holsters than mine. So what I did is I, I went out and I reached out to Vetter holsters and I was like, hey guys, uh, do you have two different claw sizes? And if you do, can I get the bigger one? And Pretty much what she said is that, yeah, we we did have different claw sizes before. Let me send you out another claw to see if you have the short one. And I was like, all right, cool. So I went ahead and asked for that. They sent it free of charge, which is real nice to them. I was willing to pay for it, but uh, they sent me a complimentary claw. And this one inside the bag is actually the original claw right and this is the new one they sent unfortunately as you can probably already tell the claws are exactly the same so uh just to kind of give you uh further proof that the claws are exactly the same so if you look here and if i put them literally on top of each other like so as you can see they are exactly the same which to me is really unfortunate um because that means now i have to make make the effort i guess i mean it's not really that much effort but now i have to go find an aftermarket claw that will fit the vetter holster which is already unique in and of itself because it has this little nub right here for the second hole which makes it uh, makes it more difficult because now like i can't really put a screw through this one without drilling the hole on this side and uh but yeah so now if i wanted to carry this appendix I would, or appendix or at a zero degree can't. Now I'm going to have to find an aftermarket claw to fit my needs because as of right now, uh, I'm, I've am i been carrying the strong side and I'm not a big fan of strong side. So I don't really carry this gun as much as I want. I already put in some money for a different holster. So I'm gonna try a new holster to review on that here in a, in a couple of weeks. And basically what I'm just trying to say is like, the Vetter holster in and of itself is a fantastic holster, right? The clip is very, very good for a single clip. The gun does not wiggle around like in the Black Arch Revcon. Uh, the only issue I have with this holster is the claw. And that's it. And I just feel like it's a very short-sighted engineering design where, again, I'll post a picture up again. This is me carrying it in strong side, but you would imagine this would also be the same in appendix that you see the you see how the claw is right below the belt and the belt sits on the claw. And that actually is, it, they're not just touching, but there's actually pressure there. So now, at least when I carry appendix, the, the claw will slip off the belt. The claw will sit right on the bottom of the belt. And then the gun will become uncomfortable because it creates a, a weird pressure point. I don't know how to really explain it, but it does create a weird form of pressure on it. And... And it's just, like I said, it's unfortunate. Like I said, it's still a great holster. Um, it's just not a holster for me. So for you Vetter, Vetter fanboys out there, don't hate. Like, I really do love this holster. It's a great holster. It's just not for me and for what I wanted to do with it. And it's all because of this claw. And and the thing is, you could, you could say that, oh, well, just go without the claw. Well, see, the downside to going without the claw is that in a gun this large, the claw is kind of necessary um, because the grip does stick out and protrude quite a bit. So if I ever wanted to carry this gun without the claw, it would definitely have to either be in strong side or I would have to wear like a jacket or coat uh, and zip it up if I was appendix carrying. So it's rather unfortunate, but hey, uh, we live, we learn, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is not a knock of Vetter holsters, right? Vetter holsters make good holsters. It's just for my needs, it is not the holster for me. I hope you liked the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you liked the video. Dislike the video if you did not like it. And again, subscribe if you want to see more content. I will see y'all in the next one.